to learn from them, to be um, excited to learn and enthusiastic. And they were all so hardworking despite their, um, their impairment. And um, yeah, I also helped them with other leisure activities. Like I read out stories to them and um, like we played games. And since I'm not able to uh, go there every day, I do the audio recordings for them. Like um, I take textbooks and record them so that they can all play it over and over again and that's how they study. Okay, thank you. Good morning. My, I'm Ganesh Prasanna from uh, 10th Standard A section and the project I did was e-waste collection. Nowadays because of the changing trends in technology and fashion, people end up upgrading their old electronic and electrical appliances. So what happens is the old ones which was there becomes waste. Now these contain uh, harmful substances like nickel and cadmium which can be very hazardous to the environment. And so I started a campaign, I, I did some research, research and found out that there is a trust for the disabled Samarthana based in uh, JP Nagar which collects e-waste. I made a team of four people and uh, we went around the houses in Shanti Park apartments in Jayanagar. We collected about uh, 35 kg uh, of e-waste. Uh, we did it in two rounds. The first round we went about telling people what e-waste is. Second round we, we told uh, that we will come 15 minutes later and then we collected the e-waste. Then uh, we gave it to Samarthanam. Um, now the benefits of this project was fourfold. First of all, the residents were benefited because they, uh, we brought about a sense of awareness in them. They, it, we helped them to clear the lot of waste which was there at, uh, in their houses. Also, the Samarthanam uh, Trust which is there for the disabled, they, uh, they try to make use of the e-waste for themselves as well as sell it to the recyclers and they are also benefited from the money which they get. Now, on my part, it gave me a sense of satisfaction and uh, recognition in the society. Thank you. So, uh, I've, I've talked to some of my friends in the apartment. During the summer vacation, I'm going to install some uh, three to four e-waste bins and then send, send out some pamphlets to the residents telling that these are there. And uh, I want to tie up with uh, Sahas they, so that they come and regularly collect the e-waste on a specified date. What were the challenges that you faced with? There is uh, many old people in the apartment who may not know what e-waste is actu actually is. So we had to explain it to them that it consists of batteries and CD players. And then uh, those people understood what we were trying. So we got some people ended up getting some 20 year old uh, inverter. Can you share one good and bad experience that you had? There's this one person, uh, I think he was doing something at home and he didn't want to be disturbed. So as soon as we knocked on the door, he said, uh, oh yeah, you, you, you people had come, I gave some e-waste last week away, so I don't have anything. And then uh, we, we tried explaining to him that he might have some more left and all that. And he's not ready to listen. But uh, there's one more person in a different building. Uh, he was so glad that we had come to collect e-waste because he had so much of it at home and he didn't know what to do with it. And uh, we had to carry some two more bags uh, from home to collect the e-waste which are there. What are the learning from these two experiences? That people can be, uh, you can have different reactions for the same thing as you say. Welcome to one and all present here. Uh, I am Shruti and I, the social action project which I have taken is uh, teaching morals and values to underprivileged children. The main intention or uh, I actually didn't go through any uh, thought process for this. There is no, um, there was no particular thinking or uh, inspiration which I actually got from but uh, one was uh, in general, one of the main intentions was uh, one, it was out of interest and two, um, I thought this type of ideology would uh, help me be a better citizen tomorrow because I've always wanted to do something with society as a career in future. 
so i thought why not take up something of this sort just for a start in life um well let me be very frank and i will confess that i had not taken up many classes because um uh, uh this was only during my december holidays which i had done it because uh, we were told that we will be having a social action project submission by mm -hmm. the beginning of jan so i will confess on that but uh, although a few class although i had taken a few classes it did make a small uh, impact on me as a person and as a future citizen um the uh see when i uh, had gone for these classes in the beginning uh it, it's it was like as if i had just it, it was like a parent walking into a into a busy school the atmosphere is, people are so uh, busy with themselves and with their activities and with their circumstances but uh, when i had spoken to the principal of this particular school she wasn't very confident about me coming and bringing about such things uh and teaching because first of all let me i am very young to actually teach uh, underprivileged children but i thought why not give it a start it's always any day is better so the first day didn't work out that well to me but uh, as the classes progressed um the children actually started uh, i didn't have any language problems so i could communicate with them with kannada and the local language so i didn't have any problem with language but uh, as the days as the classes proceeded uh, i had got a very nice response from the children they were initially they were very curious about why someone else from outside is coming and teaching us about morals and life and why do we need to know it well uh, see I I'm fortunate enough to be in Kumarins and to have the opportunity to study about how uh, uh, to be mentally and physically prepared of how the life will be ahead of us why not give them a chance they're also human beings they also equal uh, they also deserve equal uh, number of chances as we do so um what i had learned from this experience was self happiness happiness in small small um uh issues not issues happiness in small uh, circumstances which we get uh, like uh, walking with a friend to your classroom talking with them the little happinesses made me um, feel good about myself and i had started looking life at a much more detailed point from a de from a more, much more detailed point of view and um, it gave me both self happiness and to be happy with what you are and i am and to be happy with wh where you are because uh, i should be lucky enough to be studying in a good school and getting me and being surrounded by a good society so what exactly what values did you um, did you teach what was see, your um the uh, uh to be more specific let me uh, i had taught like you know what friends are how do we deal with friends um and how the interaction no i i i i didn't go in so much detail but uh, how to come uh, appreciate the other gender and appreciate the other gender as a friend good that you know at least um, one thing is that you know i appreciate your sincerity uh, whether it is right or wrong is a question you know which i don't want to ask you know i think you know you are aware of you know what is right and what is not right Uh, but a lot of us you know make mistake but a lot of us don't have the guts to accept that you know i made a mistake or you no know, i so being truthful to oneself uh, that's a fantastic quality that you have uh, you you deserve a, a big round of applause for that uh, 